بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم کلاس آئی ہوپ دیٹ یو آر آل لسننگ ٹو دیز ویڈیو لیسنس ریگولرلی اینڈ ود انٹرسٹ اینڈ ڈوئنگ یور ورک آلسو آئی ہوپ دیٹ یو آر گیٹنگ یوز ٹو آف دس پریکٹس آف ویڈیو لیسنس ایز وی ہیڈ اسپینڈ دا ہول لاسٹ ایئر ان دا سیم وے وی پری ٹو آل مائٹی اللہ ٹو کیپ آل آف آس سیف As you know that Ramzan is approaching, so get ready for that blessed month also. Reschedule your timetable so that you will be able to get the barakas of Ramzan along with, the, uh, along with your studies. Yesterday we had completed unit 2 and today I am going to discuss with you the box question of this unit. These box questions are so simple and so easy that I think that there is no need of uh, giving you uh, the answers or discussing with you the answer because these are simple what and who questions. And if you have got the lesson, understood the lesson, they are very simple and easy for you also. But just to have a look at that, what is the, uh, what are these questions? Let's discuss these questions first. The first box question given on page number 13 is who offers sacrifice for the country we have read in the first paragraph that the first of all we have read the definition of the uh, patriotism and the next sentence was that who is a patriot so a true patriot offers sacrifice for the country who offers sacrifice for the country a true patriot offers sacrifice for the country Then the next question is with paragraph number, I think it's paragraph number three. Who led the Muslims of the subcontinent in their struggle for a separate homeland? Again, a who question means you have to answer or you have to name the person or the personality who led the Muslims. And who is that personality? Obviously, Kaide Azam, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, a nation builder and a great patriot. led the muslims in their struggle for a separate homeland and then the last question on the page and of this unit is what is the highest military award so what is the highest military award we have read it yesterday and we know before that before doing this unit also the highest military award is nishane haider nishane haider is the highest military award only these three box questions were given with this lesson now open your book page 18 boys uh, i just want to uh, say you one thing that when you start listening to your video lessons i hope that you are doing this this is just a kind of reminder for you that whenever you start listening to your video lessons do have your books your notebooks that, that are your rough sheets and a pen or pencil in hand to uh, write down whatever is required or to uh, write down your answers if there is some confusion so that you can ask that either if you are it's able uh, it's possible for you to ask uh, in that day or when we are inshallah be in the school again to so that we can have a discussion on all that we have we are doing these days so uh, this is page number 18 grammar exercise and this grammar exercise is modal verbs so we have read before verb that verb is an action word we have also read the word linking verb means a verb that creates link of the subject and the action and then we have also read that there are auxiliaries helping or linking verb there are main verb or action verbs there are transitive or intransitive verb this is modal verbs what are modal verbs modal verbs are a special kind of helping verb means one thing is clear here that they are a kind of helping verbs a modal verb helps the main verb to express the mood of the subject and at the same time it can indicate possibility persuasion ability or willingness means modal verb has a fun double function it works as a helping verb 
so, and it also work, works as a verb that expresses the possibility or it expresses the persuasion it expresses your ability or your willingness so this is called a modal verb now what is the definition given in your book is modal verbs combine with other verbs to form compound verbs compound verbs or you can say verb phrases when there is one then more more than one verb it makes a verb phrase here is a list of modal verbs given in this block and <clears throat> their function that how and where these modal verbs are used so let's discuss this list with the examples the first column or the first line of this model verbs is can could may might and would and functions of these verbs is they are used to indicate possibility they are used to indicate possibility see uh, can and then could it means that could is the second form of can similarly may and might means the second form of may is might and then you are given the verb would these five words are used to indicate possibility means something is possible or is not possible now we divide these two verbs four five words into two lists that there is can may and there is also could might and would when i said that could and might are the second forms of may and can it means that this could and might is used in the past tenses something that we are used to do in the past for example if i say to show the ability or to show in the next line also see can will could or would they are the same words as are given earlier just one is missing that is would they are used to indicate possibility they are also used to indicate ability if we talk about possibility in the first uh, line there uh, it may be can you come can you help me may you come there or may you go there or could you please uh, help me these shows the uh, these are used to show the possibility of something and in the next line can will could would these are the verbs given they are used to show ability if i say i can swim this is my ability but if i want to show that this is my it is no more my ability i i can say that i could swim when i was a child similarly if i say i will carry your bag i am showing or giving my willingness but if i say she said she would carry my bag it means that she is talking about something that she she will do in the past next comes your list of must will and shall keep this thing, thing in your mind and you can also write it on your books that these three modal verbs are used to show 100% certainty here their function is written that they are used to indicate certainty you can mention in brackets that the certainty is 100% certain certainty where there is no doubt when we have no doubt about anything we use these words these are these helping verbs that are will must will or shall shall is not in common use these days it is an old fashion old language word most of the time will is used in each and every word for example if i say that uh, this is uh, about certainty if i say that you must get up early you must improve your spellings <clears throat> you must work hard to get through the examination <coughs> or if i say i will try to do my better means i am sure and i am certain that i will try to do my better next number 4 is there are modal verbs might should and ought these three verbs are used to indicate 
probability probability means maybe maybe something is going to happen not so sure about something but maybe it will happen these three words are might should or ought for example if you say you might go there okay this shows the probability or if you say you should come this also shows probability then the next one is can could may these words are used to indicate permission and these are the most commonly used words by the students by the by you people also that all the time we are used to are listening that um, teacher may i go out teacher i may go to, may i go to the tech shop may i go to drink water these are very common they are used to take permission when you are or you can also uh, use this word while talking to your friends that uh, may i borrow your uh, pencil or can i borrow your pencil these are used to ask permission then the next verb uh, list of verbs is should must need and ought to these four modal verbs are used to indicate obligation obligation means duty means you should offer your prayer in time you must work hard or you need to be ready for the examination or you ought to be present all these are used to show obligation like we should keep our promises similarly uh, we ought to obey our parents these are all used to indicate obligations the last verb in this list is used to see all other are used to indicate either possibility or impossibility or ability or inability or certainty or uncertainty or similarly probability or improbability asking permissions or for the obligations but this used to is used for something that is your past habit that is no more your routine now for example if we say that i used to live there when i was a child when i say this that i used to live there when i was a child it means that i am no more living at that place it was in the past that i used to live there i used to get up late means it was in the past that i was used to of getting up late this these this used to is a modal verb that is used to indicate the past habit the examples given here in your book are may i ask you a few questions this may we have read is used to ask permission so the example of asking permission is given here then can you swim this is a question that is asking about ability as i told you or we i have given you the example that i can swim or i could swim when i was a child so this is used to tell the ability you should keep your promise this is your moral obligation and this is your moral duty so should is used to show show your obligation or your duty and we ought to help him this ought to is moral obligation any morally and religiously you are bound to do something i hope that you have got the idea of what the modal verbs are and how do we use them and what is their function related to this there is an exercise given on page number 19 and i am giving you this exercise 
as your homework. This is something very interesting that use appropriate models to first number one is describe your three abilities and capabilities. Write three sentences finding out what are your abilities or what are your capabilities and use the model verbs like if as I have said that I can swim or I cannot swim. You can say that you can write, you can recite, you can draw or any other thing, you can make new things, you can do, I have given, um, I asked you to give three sentences and I uh, think that I have given you more than three sentences. You have to write sentences in this way. The next one is, ask teacher's permission for going out. And you people are quite expert in that. And I hope that you all will have a different sentence from the other one that, how you are asking per permission from your teacher? How do you ask permission from your teachers? Next one is, ask a friend to lend you a book. And this is also a kind of uh, your routine that we people note in the class that uh, here you are given just one thing that ask a friend to lend you a book. What I have observed most of the time in the class while you are given some homework, uh, someone gets up and he says that may I take the razor, may I share the scale, may I uh, buy his pen, may, uh, may I go to buy a pen. These are some of the things that you are used to of doing when you are given some work, class work or some test means something related to written or something related to class activity. This is what is uh, seen in the class normally. So ask a friend to lend you a book. You have not brought your book and you want to buy uh, to lend his book so how will you ask him next one is express necessity to get up early use model verbs to tell that why it is necessary to get up early that why we should get up early in the morning why we should get up early number five is express duty obligation to follow traffic rules again we have read some model verbs that are used to indicate obligations. So you have to use them from those verbs. And lastly is share some past habit. What you were used to do that you are not doing now. It may be some of your um, habits that you dislike or it may be some of your habits that you liked but you are not used to of doing that now. So share some of your past habits. This is your exercise and this is quite interesting. So this is your homework. Then there is an exercise given on page number 16. That is guess the meaning of the following words. This is also quite interesting. We have read the lesson yesterday. And these are the words that we have read in the lesson except two that is fidelity and shield. The other three words were in your lesson and I have explained that also. Uh, if you have your books in front of you and uh, you have opened your books on page number 16, you can see that here a table is given. And in this table, first one is guest meaning column and the next one is dictionary meaning column. Before opening the dictionary, just read the word and think what do you think what the word means? And write what you think. That is called your guest meaning. And after writing these guest meanings, then open your dictionaries and check that what is the meaning in the dictionary. And see that you have guessed the word right or your guess is correct. So this is a kind of game also that you are asked first to guess. And we are uh, quite interested in uh, guess games. So uh, this is your work that um, this, uh, this exercise is also your homework. So your today's diary is vocabulary exercise A, book page 16 plus grammar exercise A, book page 19. And I hope that you all will do this homework and this is something different something interesting you are not asked to learn something by heart you are not asked to uh, learn some rules or practice some rules you are just asked to share your habits you are just asked to 
guess the meanings that is just like a game i hope that all of you will do this homework so here ends our class allah fiz